epidural and subdural hematoma. Well, first of all, the blood appear white on CT scan image, right? This is the important information that you should put in your mind related to these two topics. First, let's start by epidural hematoma. If you look at the picture top right corner, you will see that the white, this white color is the dura mater. If the blood accumulated above it, it's called epidural hematoma. And if the blood accumulated below it, it's called subdural hematoma, right? So the keyword for epidural hematoma will be young patient with history of a trauma to the side of the skull that lead to loss of consciousness now for a while then he retain his consciousness for about 15 to 20 hours after that he lost his consciousness again so this is the keyword this scenario please keep this scenario in your mind the cause here will be due to rupture of middle meningeal artery okay in case of epidural hematoma on CT scan, it will appear as biconvex lens or biconvex shape, like lemon shape on the right side. If you look at the picture, it appears like lemon shape. So it's epidural hematoma. For the treatment, it needs emergency craniotomy. Okay? And the most common nerve that's affected here is the third cranial nerve which lead to third decay nerve palsy, oculomotor palsy, okay? So please keep this information in your mind. In case of epidural hematoma, it's appear like lemon shape, craniotomy needed, emergency, and the cause here due to rupture of middle meningeal artery. In case of subdural hematoma, the keyword here will be old patient plus minimal head trauma or fall for about one month ago, okay? And now the patient is presented with loss of memory or personality changes. So here, the case scenario will be old patient with minimal head trauma for about one month ago. Well, here, it will lead to rupture of the bridging veins. That's important information. In CT scan, it appears like concave crescent, like banana shape, as this on the right. For treatment, it's usually conservative with a steroid. So please, here the treatment will conservative, concave crescent, banana shape, bridging vein rupture, and it's usually occur in old patient. That's all what you need to know about epidural and subdural hematoma for AMC exam. For full course, you can contact us through amcqbook at gmail.com. Thanks and goodbye.